should walk in any room, have you raising up your antennas. She can fly you straight to the moon or to the ghettos. Wearing tiny shoes or in flats or in stilettos. Illuminating all that she touches on the sparrow. Uh, you don't feel like doing it, but you're doing it, so you might as well just get it over with. But what if we just... I, 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 I what, what if we just make it and just end it? Like, it's okay I, to not orgasm every time. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's okay. Try to lie to your man. No. Your man no. show you my braid out that I just took out in the bathroom the last clip that you just saw one of my braids came out last night when I was sleeping and apparently it was stuck in this vicinity and I was being lazy because I did not put on my bonnet I couldn't find it still don't know where it is so yeah I have on my Richmond Fashion Week it's now RVA Fashion Week this is an old shirt from back in the day 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 this staff on it. I think I got this in like 2014 when I was just judging uh, and auditioning models for a Richmond Fashion Week. But I need to get me a director shirt now because that's who I be. I know this is mad. Like this reminds you of a Missy video. <laughs> Let me do a little texture shot. Is it focus? Is it focus? Oh, okay. There we go. Here is a texture shot. I don't think I've ever done this before. I hope you guys don't see any dandruff in my hair. You can see all my gray hair, all my wisdom, hunty. The shape of it is not kind of what I want right now, but I do like how the texture came out. I'm really, really feeling that. So I have a couple more. I know it's a little crooked. Y'all just, this was on a whim real quick. Um, but I do have a couple more tasks that I need to get done. It is currently 10, 10, 10, 10, 12 actually. It's my watch that my granddaddy gave me. And um, I gotta go do some more things. I need to print some things off. I have to prepare one of the veteran models that are helping me run this workshop i didn't even tell you what i'm doing so i'm about to go run a workshop we have about 80 plus models coming out um in two different sessions so i split them up based on their skill level we are just going to polish them up even more or i should say i am i don't know why i always say we when it's sometimes just me but it's just out of habit um but yeah i'm gonna work to polish them up a little bit more and make them look good show them what we expect on the runway for a richmond fashion week show or rva fashion week show i'm super excited like bringing out the best in people is one of my passions and of course since i've been a model before and i've done some runway print commercial all that kind of stuff i just um people 
thought enough of me um, to ask me to come out and train models. So I've actually been doing private runway sessions on sessions on my own. I don't really advertise them um, just because I have so much other stuff going on. And it's really just a passion of mine to work with somebody independently um, and build them up. You know what I mean? So I've worked with a model by the name of Millie. She now lives in Florida. Shout out to you if you're watching this video. Um, she, prime example, I met her at RVA Fashion Week. She was one of the models and she had the look just tall, gorgeous. I mean, super tall for her age. I think she's 17 or was 17. Um, but she just needed some development and I couldn't give that to her because there were like 60 plus models that I was working with at the particular workshop that she was at. So I took her and we did, you know, runway sessions. She would come like every week or two. Her mom would pay for the classes and I would just record her before and after, show her the videos, um, show her some technique just to help her get, get better on the runway. I'm not a a professional by any means but I do believe that I do know uh, a skill set and I've worked on my walk not like I said I'm not the best person I'm actually about to go to a, a runway class in New York um, in April hoping I get off but that's another thing just always practice your craft I think I know enough about it to show to have someone show me what they're working with and then I can say hey if you do this this will tweak your walk a little bit better if you do this this will finesse your um, your signature walk a little bit better so just helping people develop showing them the skills that I've learned because I actually did go to a modeling school 16 going on 17 I'm 26 wow it's almost been 10 years um, so yeah, it's just, it's just something I like to do to bring out the best in people. I really, really, really like being that encourager and helping to bring out um, what you didn't know that you had in you. So that's my thing. I literally feel good and warm and fuzzy inside and stuff when I'm able to help people. So that's that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to print off this stuff, make sure I have everything that I need, find me a good playlist and let's kill this day. Peace y'all. So I'm minding my business. I go outside. <laughs> and I see this. This man is a trip. I low-key think he watched my vlogs at this point because I don't know. That was that was really sweet. Y'all I had a rough day yesterday. I got the pineapple. <laughs> I had a super rough day yesterday and me and my neighbor call and check up on each other from time to time and that was very sweet. Sometimes I just feel not alone, you know you have your family and stuff but like I was telling y'all before when people just get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life like those small moments where you feel like you just need somebody like in a very small nutshell moment it matters to have people there so it kind of hurts when you don't and i'm just having a very transparent moment right now um but yesterday was one of those moments for me i just felt like oh, i cried a little bit i didn't like boo hoo but i had a day but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and eat this cereal I got a pineapple to come back to later on, or I probably won't even eat it today, but still, it's just very thoughtful. So I stopped at this place called Ginger Juice, Ginger Juice on the way to um, the workshop, and it's super cute. It's a little blurry, but this is the way it looks, and I love this behind me. This is Ginger Juice in the middle, but it's super dope. Here. I got a um, couple of shots. It's expensive. This ain't a place you just come to just to come to, you know, <laughs> for sure. If you're out in the area, get a ginger shot. If you're in the area, you stop by. Too much. And then I got a juice. I was gonna get one of their superfood lattes. It says, get the joke without the crash. And then this one is called Glitzy. It's apple, pear, and pineapple. Yep, apple, pear, and pineapple. And then I got a um, piece of toast. I don't know why I didn't get the latte, but I'm gonna drink that juice instead of the latte. So, like, she said, so Leo? That's why I don't, um, like when people ask me how, thank you very much, how you spell my name because 
when you ask me how to spell it, they end up saying my name's so Lil. So I just be telling people, spell it how you think it's sent. But check this out. My avocado toast with basil, sesame seed, and tomato. First one here, probably the last person to leave. This is all the space that we will be using. Um, the next workshop that we'll do will also encompass a fitting. So we'll be upstairs in the largest room that they have. Let's see. But this is our setup. So excited, so excited. Bye. I am finally finished with workshops. And this is my man's Justin. Isn't he cute? Look at his hair, y'all. Y'all might, why haven't you said anything? <laughs> you just like. He, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he actually can talk, he talks, he's not a mute. You just sit there like, this is. I, you know, I just, I wasn't quite ready for this as, <laughs> as I never am, but you know, good fashion show, lots of people walked. Uh, we debated for a long time <laughs> really on trying did. to it's figure almost out eight what to, who to let in and who not to. And, um, you know, we decided, uh, you know, great decisions. And I hope, uh, we're looking forward to an awesome fashion show. Yeah. And, uh, you're going to be one of the models. Yeah. He just helped me coach today. Cause he's really good. He's great with people as well. So, um, we just finished deliberating. Like he said, it's been what, two hours since we've been doing that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we left at like 5.45. We got some pizza at Bottoms Up. That's Bottoms Up right there. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. And then Soleil and I were just, you know, talking about the good old days back when we first met. <laughs> and like how uh, awesome, uh, you know, I thought of her without knowing how awesome she already was. Aww. So. That was, yeah, I, didn't, I learned that today. I didn't know that. He said he saw in me, like, I guess, like, I don't know, that I could have been a model. Not a model, but like mm -hmm. just something that I did more than just make omelets at VCU. Yeah. Put it like that. Because mm -hmm. that's how we met. I used to um, work in the food department at VCU. They have, what's it called? Schaefer? Correct. Is it called mm -hmm. Schaefer? Schaefer. Yeah, Schaefer, Schaefer is where, yep, Schaefer Court is where everybody at VCU, uh, Virginia, Virginia, <laughs> Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, Virginia, where I live at. It's a college that he went to. And I worked at, uh, what was the name of it? Remember they had the the different like the stir fry section. Mm -hmm. What was the vegan section called when you first came in? Uh, Why do I want to say Sergeant Peppers? What the hell? Uh, yeah, it, it, I think it was Peppers something. Uh, I probably just made that up, but it was the it, it was the vegan vegetarian place. But in the morning, um, I would also make omelets. So in the morning I made omelets, and then throughout the day I made vegan and vegetarian meals. But I used to cook him omelets like almost every day. The best. And he didn't look anything like this. Like, Justin's hair was not long. I had short hair. Yeah, I could have never looked at you and tell that you were interested in modeling at all. Not to say you couldn't have been, because clearly you are now. But I just never saw that. Yeah, that was like six years ago and or something like that. And yeah, 2000. I started growing my hair 12? out like five years ago. That was actually eight years ago. Bruh. It's 2018. Mm. And I think I worked there in like... My last year there was like 2011 or 12, something like that. So it's been a minute. Yeah. Does that sound right to you? Bruh. It's anywhere between six to eight years. Okay. Yeah. Cause... Can I not count or something? You said 2000. Oh, I can't count. I can't count. I can't count. Oh, Lord. I can't count. So. Bruh. Yeah, my brain is fried. It's 2018. No, you're right. Six years. I can't count. You just would have let me keep going. It's all right. We had like 80 models that we couldn't even keep track of. It's a good thing that we took pictures. It's a good thing that we took pictures. Seriously. Well, yeah, guys, that's it. Y'all like my Tupac pin on my jacket? Ooh. I'll say bye, Justin. Peace. <laughs>